All right, everyone. So in this video here, I'm going to be showing you just a quick look at the Microsoft Surface Go 3. So here's the box for it. it says that there is a number three on it. And I'm upgrading this from the Surface Go 2, which is this one here. I'm going to be selling this off. You know, there's no point to keep this one around. But the main reason why I decided to upgrade this was two reasons. I really wanted an LTE model. I think especially now, this might be a little conspiracy, but it seems like there's more and more people out there now that are just trying to find ways to either scam you or to try to find ways to steal your information and things like that. So a lot of times what I've been doing now, even when I was using the Surface Go 2, is that I will be connecting my Wi-Fi or my tablet to my phone so I don't have to use public Wi-Fi. And now that, at least in this case, Microsoft was running a sale on it, and I decided to get the LTE model in black so and by the way this is also the first time the surface go comes in a different color so that's cool so this black one looks really nice actually you know what if i grab my laptop and it's a little dusty because i'll be honest with you i've been using my tablet more as a desktop lately but let's take a look at the color difference between the two so here's my surface laptop and here's the surface go 3 in black and it's not exactly the same color this has a deeper black to it but this color here is still pretty nice so that, that is a slight difference in color, but they're both dark and um, I like both of them. So I'll just uh, put that one to the side now. And by the way, the ports on this are pretty much exactly the same as the Surface Go 2. So a USB-C port on this thing, headphone jack, your Surface connector there. And if we lift this up, your... Um, micro SD card slot there. So being that this is the higher spec model, basically the top end model, this particular one, this particular one is, the specs are the Tension Intel Core i3 processor with 128 gigs SSD. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM, and in matte black. So keep in mind, when it comes to the Surface Goes, and it also depends which Surface tablets you get also with the other ones, especially when it comes to the uh, Surface Laptop Go. I'm not entirely, I don't think the actual regular Surface Laptop, but I know the Surface Laptop Go Um does this is that Microsoft would use 64 gigs but is an eMMC so that is different from SSD eMMC is a slower type of storage and is also cheaper than SSD so that is one thing to keep in mind is that well, if you're primarily just going to be using it for like media, you know, like Netflix and, you know, checking emails and stuff like that and really nothing else, you can probably get by with the base model. For me personally, I tend to use these things a little bit more than that. So for me personally, it makes more sense to get a higher spec model. And that is something to keep in mind, too, is that when you are pricing these things out, you have to ask yourself, okay, 
do I really need this or do I think I'm going to need this in the future? Because here's the thing, even when it comes time to selling these things, you know, in the used market, usually the higher spec models typically do go for much more than the base models because let's just face it, most people are going to be getting the base models because of the price. So that means on the second hand market, there's going to be a lot more, to, more of them. If you're going to be getting a higher spec model, guess what? There's not going to be as many. And on top of that, the LTE model, which this has LTE, does tend to go for a higher price because that's an added value for people out there that are looking for a computer with mobile internet. There is a market for people out there that want to use mobile internet. So by me spending a little bit more money, I can basically get most of that money back when it comes time to selling this in the future because there is an, an added value to it. So that is something to keep in mind is that, yeah, you might be spending more up front, but on top of that too, Unless, unless they come out with a new one that is just drastically that much more powerful, there's going to be very, very little reason for me to even upgrade this in the future because for what I do on this thing, uh, this basically does what I want it to do. Now, let's take a look at this physically. So let's just uh, remove the pin, which by the way, the pin magnetically goes on the side here. And of course, you got the type cover, which is magnetically placed there. And the nice thing about these things is that all of the accessories you bought for the Surface Go or the Surface Go 2 will work on this too. And that's actually really, really nice. Because say like in my case, I'm upgrading from the Surface Go 2 to the Surface Go 3. I don't have to buy another type cover because I don't need to. I don't need to buy another case because I already have one. Uh, but I am getting a free case with this. It's actually supposed to come in tomorrow. It's just like a sleeve, a zippered sleeve. So it fits pretty nice. I may start using that. And of course, I bought this pin when I got the Surface laptop, but I haven't really been using it. So it seems to me like uh, this would be a better fit on here. And of course, you can't use it sideways like this too. Which is understandable why Microsoft would design Windows 11 and have the default um, on the taskbar, everything centered, so that it's consistent. But you are able to change this to the left side if you want. So, not the end of the world. But yeah, uh, the physical dimension is the same as the previous generations. The screen seems to be the same as the Surface Go 2, which is pretty good. You know, the screen, you know, it's not the best screen I've seen in portable devices. But I think for the average person, especially the target market, for the Surface Go line of tablets, this is a nice screen. The cameras on this are pretty good um, and all that. And for what you can do on this thing, I think for the target market for this, especially the top end model, this is actually pretty capable. Now, we'll see what happens in the future because Microsoft is supposedly designing their own in-house chip to start using in their, you know, in their, say in their phones or their, you know, tablets, their laptops, things like that. So we'll see how those go in the future. But for now, this uh, Intel Core i3 seems very decent so far from, from, from the programs I've used on this. Seems decent enough for this kind of laptop or for this kind of tablet. So I've used Filmora, which is a video editor software, works fine on this thing. Um, watching like 
streaming services like Netflix, YouTube, and others out there all works fine. Um, hell, even um, game streaming services like uh, Xbox Game Pass, GeForce Now, they work fine. So don't get this thinking, okay, this is going to be like my, my Nintendo Switch for a Windows computer. That's not what this is. If you look at this more like a light duty tablet that you want to run Windows on, the Surface Go 3 to me is a really nice tablet. And of course with the uh, with the type cover, well guess what? You also have a built-in screen protector. So yeah, that's uh, that's my look at the uh, Surface Go 3. Um, based on from what I've used so far, I really like this. The mobile internet on this thing, while it is LTE, so it's not 5G, but I think for the average person, what they're going to be using this for, I think that's fine. Uh, I do know 5G does typically uh, require more power, which is probably why Microsoft went with LTE for this thing. So it so that you know it can get pretty good battery life and this actually does so so yeah while people might not like the surface connector keep in mind is that you can use the USB-C port to charge also so I've used this and my surface laptop here because it has the same ports I've used the USB-C port to charge them it works fine Maybe not as fast as the Surface connector, but it does charge. So you might not like a proprietary connector, but Microsoft does give you the option with the USB-C port, which is nice. So if you are someone that does travel a lot, but you don't really need like a big screen type of portable device, something like this would actually be really nice to carry and use with you. If you're someone that just doesn't like using Apple products in general, this is actually a really nice choice. So I'll just leave it there. And that's been a look at the Microsoft Surface Go 3. Like always, have a good one.